All right, guys, so I brought in my brother, Mr. Carlos, and he has come up with an idea to utilize movement with handwriting based on the things that we are accustomed to seeing at our school. We are going to show you guys ways to perform a handwriting activity with exercise. This is inspired from our gym teacher as well, Mr. C. He provided a template of the alphabet letters that has each individual letter with a corresponding movement. So we took that idea and made the letters of his name correspond to our own movements. And Carlos has come up with a way to do it a typical way and a modified way. So to begin, we're going to show a letter of his names, C-A-R-L-O-S. Carlos, can you find the letter C, please? Now he's going to locate the letters that are across the room. So you may begin. Good, he has found the letter C. Now, for our students who may or may not be able to read, you can have a visual, but in this case, our student can read. So what does C say to do? Chest. Chest, so it says to do a chest workout. You can either tell them how many you want them to do, or you can have the dice, however you feel you want to grade the activity. We're gonna say we're gonna do five. We're gonna do a push-up position for a chest workout. So can you please pre present a push-up position for our viewers? There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Right there, he's getting a nice chest workout. He's strengthening his upper body. It's all good in preparation for a handwriting test. So now can you please trace the letter C? Great, and a good way to modify this is you can do it on the chair. You can do three, one, two, three, and you can perform it on the wall, and you can do a wall push-up as well. One, two, and three. All right, perfect. So next, we're gonna go on to the next letter, which is? A. All right, Mr. Carlson, can you please locate the A around the room? Wonderful. And A says? Aerobics. Aerobics. So he's gonna perform an example of an aerobic exercise. All right, Carlos, you can show our viewers. You have running in place. You could do it for about five to 10 seconds. Now, Carlos, how can you modify running to place to conserve energy? You can march. You can march in place as well. That way you're still getting that proprioceptive and vestibular input, and now he'll be asked to trace the letter A. And because it's on the floor, I will ask him to go in the prone position, which is on his belly, on the floor, and he will trace the letter A. It's a good, it's a good position for weight bearing and core strengthening. He stabilizes the paper with one hand, writes with the other, and then he may stand up. And we're gonna move on to the next letter. The next letter is? R. R, you're gonna locate the R in the room. Okay. Good, so R is for rest, and Carlos has shown and actually drawn an infinity symbol, because infinity symbol is good for breathing. It crosses midline, it's good for scanning, and it will help him regulate his breathing. So I'll show you, I'll demonstrate it. You can have your students start at the dock, you can breathe in, breathe out. You can do it as many times as you want, help them regulate their breathing, and then after he regulates his breathing, he can now trace the R that's on that table. So can you please get into a nice crisscross applesauce position, have an upright posture, and make sure one hand holds the paper, the other hand's working, and he's going to trace the letter R. So, we also have three more letters of his name, but to save you guys time, so you can start implementing for your students, you can modify this as needed. You can look up ways to incorporate movement. You can try your own kind of movement. You can correlate it to any letter of the alphabet. Um, if you have any suggestions, please contact your teachers or your therapist for any more ideas. Um, good job, Ms. Carlos.